it's hot. Can't we take a catch a break? Hey, I got heard some company's info got leaked. Yes, it seems the private dealings of a large corporation were publicly disclosed. This caused quite a stir. People are wondering if Medja are behind it. That wasn't the promise. Do you think it was Medjed? I would not. I would think not. This seems to be a minor thing, quite different from what Medjed has done up until now. Is that so? So it wasn't Medjed? Damn, that shit freaked me out. It's honestly kind of hard not to have a knee-jerk reaction to this stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to these things by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. We need to find a way to stand up for them. Wait, can I call her now? Oh. Hey. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Guess we can't do anything after a palace infiltration. God damn it! Who is it? All right, I'll be intruding on you tomorrow. Your house manages to keep cool despite the seat. There's a book I want to read. And should something happen, I will be ready in case we must assemble. If it works with your schedule, we could hang out. Until then, good day. Alright. Guess we're hanging out with Yusuke. Uh, August, right? The eighth. Hey. All right, who is it? What's up to? Well, I'm hanging out with Yusuke, okay? Hmm. Hi. I've been waiting for you. Oh, and I brought an art book I would like to read with you. If we are not planning to infiltrate today, why don't we search for ideas between the pages of this book? <laughs> Perfect. I knew you would agree. In that case, I'll head to your room. I feel as though I could melt. The weather is getting rather warm these days. Now is the season to enjoy shaved ice. You should buy an air conditioner. If you do, I promise to come visit you here every day. Uh. Just take off your clothes. I should have known. Wait, what? Why didn't I think of that? It's decided. I'll live my life wearing as little as possible. Wait, I nearly forgot there are laws against this sort of thing. The police will slightly stop me. I suppose most people can only embrace nudity when it's for the sake of art. Wow, he... He... Alright, I didn't expect that. I read art books with Yusuke while enduring the heat. The heat made it tough to think normally. Before I knew it, I was thinking more outside the box. Hey, I got suave. All right. You have my thanks. Ah, oh, look at the time. Now my throat is quite dry. It calls out for the soothing warmth of coffee, perhaps due to the lingering aroma of this room. Sure. What did you say? Now this time I won't make it with extra love because it just messes me up, I guess. Who drinks coffee in the evening though? Oh. Actually, you know what? I drink I I sometimes had coffee in the evening. You look magnificent. I believe anyone could look competent with the correct attire. Indeed. What deep flavor. Exquisite. And we just talked. Let us part ways here. That was a good Monday. Alright, today we will go to the palace. No one call me, please. Okay, good. Alright. Not in the mood. Another company got leaked? Really? I don't think it's Medjed, though. I think it's just a coincidence. Who is it? 
Are you still not done? I thought I told you I'm not a patient person. No kidding. You tell us you would wait. This is going against your word. That doesn't matter. Do you think I won't report you to the police? Yeah, you wouldn't dare. Or would you? I don't think she would. Because if she knows that I am going to Sujiro's place like this, then it would also affect her in some way. Alright, I'll believe you. You better not take me lightly because of with all the evidence I have against you guys. You have evidence? Don't underestimate me. Leaking your chat logs to the police would be quite simple. Dude, don't. Please don't misunderstand. We really do want your help. As such, we will do whatever it takes to fulfill our promise. Please believe us in that respect. We just need a little more time. He doesn't seem to understand our circumstances. This might be a problem. Don't we have like another two weeks? Hey. Yeah, a little more than two weeks. Oh my god, that's a lot of messages. Oh my god. Man, this is crazy. I can't keep up with this constant influx of posts. Isn't it being isn't tough? Isn't it tough being popular, the Phantoms? Anyway, here's the latest lead I have. This seems to be about someone abusing their power? I wonder if it was written by a former employee about the, of the qu company in question. Apparently one of the higher ups has been claiming the achievements of his subordinates as his own. That really sucks. Yeah, that's some business sense. You can't seriously be accepting that. Now I, now I know the comp name of the company, but I don't know any details on the person himself. The company is over in Shinjuku, so try asking around the places where bi businessmen could hang out. A bar at night might be a start. That should be a good place to get more information on this situation. I, I hope this isn't asking too much of you. Sorry, look for another just in case. No. Maybe you could get a job at a bar? Oh god, what? Lala! I need I need a favor. Do you have plans? I have something to care to uh, <laughs> I have some things to take care of and I'll be in the school's vicinity. Let me know if you need anything. Seems like Makoto's at school. Want to be a seer? Sure. If it increases the bond level, then I will go with her. If not, then we'll go to someone else. Hey! Huh? I see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, well... Feels like I just don't know anything anymore. Uh, let's talk at the student's council review. We can get in through the back entrance. My class had a practice entrance exam and my score was significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. Is it that thieves work? No, I was sure to set aside an appropriate amount of time to study. Actually... The truth is, recently I've started questioning the entire point of my ed education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high expectations my sister has set for me? I spoke to Aiko about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Wait, who? Hmm? You don't remember? Aiko Takao? We asked her about the job she has at the salon in Shinjuku. Anyway, I, we've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to a top university, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Aiko, her grades are not the best, but she claims she doesn't even know about that stuff. Apparently her parents can use their connections to find her a job. <laughs> well, isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way to approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. You don't have goals? 
I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law, just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society made for me. But, but everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I realize now there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. <laughs> she must have known I wasn't talking to her. Lately, Aiko's been telling whenever she buys. Wait, Aiko's been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds this cute outfit. That reminds me, she asked me the other day what hand cream I use. I sent her a picture and it's apparently the same brand they use in the nurse's office and it's cool. Aww. I'm not so sure about that. She told me I'm like a middle-aged man in the body of a high school girl. <laughs> Regardless, that stuff works wonders for a dry skin and it's great value too. Actually, my father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely dental gentle deep down. That reminds me. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me to do something so dangerous. I'd completely forgotten all about that dream, but to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty good. It sounds good. You're right. Like genuinely, it sounds good. I suppose. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Wait, why not? Besides, they're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? Hmm. I think I need to re-examine what my goals are for the future, outside of just plain studying. Thank you very much. You know, it feels like I remembered something important today thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened again. When I met Aiko, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just recently, I only just learned recently that a chemise is now called a camisole and a button-down sweater is a cardigan. Why does the same thing have so many multiple names? I guess in the end I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So please keep, help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. Sure? See you later. Bye, Makoto. Ah, you're back. Hey! Wait, what? What are you gonna do with Kawakami? Kawi who? Wait, what? What did it say? Oh, yay! Yay, yay, yay. Yay, 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 yay. Wait, what? 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 Seriously, though, who? What? Who are you? Let's meet at the bar then, huh? There may be a problem. Let's not meet at the bar today. I need to change locations, but I have to turn off my phone. Anyway, we'll meet in front of the bar. I'm counting on you. That doesn't sound good. Shit. What what happened? This is really annoying. Where is that the Ugh. Crap hide? Oh yeah, there you are. What do you think you're doing making me look all over for the place for you? Ch Chief? What are you doing here? That's my line. Why isn't your phone on? Are you doing something you don't want me to find out about? N not at all! Oh, it looks like my battery ran out. I was busy covering the Phantom Thief, so... Sure about that? I got a complaint from the higher-ups the other day. 
Apparently, people have seen you snooping around recently in places unrelated to the Phantom Thieves. A that's ridiculous. I've been hot on their trail lately. Who told them that? Doesn't matter who, the board's coming down hard on me for this. Now don't make me ask you again. Why are you sneaking around behind the company's back? I'm honestly not. I just... I'm gonna back her up. She hasn't done anything wrong. Alright, I'll tell you. Just keep, promise to... You'll keep it a secret, okay? Oh, the truth is I'm in a relationship with this kid. What? Is he a minor? Yup, that's why I'm being so discreet about it. Who knows what laws we might be breaking. I guess keeping our triste a secret is tougher than I expected. Maybe someone saw us out somewhere. For someone who specializes in fabricating articles, I'd expect you to be a better liar. I expect your resignation let- WHAT?! I expect your resignation letter on my desk next week. If it doesn't come, I'll handle matters myself. Huh? So what, you decide I'm lying and that's that? Give it a rest already, I'm annoyed enough as is for having to come track you down out here. Wait, we're totally dating, aren't we, sweetie? <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Huh? <laughs> See? We've had to be extra secretive about it because in high school is strict rules against dating adults. Oh yeah, are you blackmailing him? I mean, let's be honest, you don't have to be the physique to be attracting high school- Damn, chief! Hey, that's sexual harassment. And besides, our love is something that defies both age and logic. Oh my god, Richard should be here. Whatever, just make sure you don't miss any deadlines, okay? Of course, so... Can we go now? Just one more question. I could have sworn the reason you were sneaking around was so that you could follow up on your old partner's case. Huh? Well, oh yeah? Our movie is about to start. Is that so? Ugh. Like I said, I'm here on personal business. I promise you. You lost all credibility when you started sneaking around like this, but... Fine, I'll back off. But don't go pulling any funny stuff, okay? The board wants me to keep a close eye on you. You've been warned. <sighs> Whew, that was close. Thanks, that guy is one of the execs over at my job. Arrogant bastard, isn't he? He's the kind of guy that all the girls at the bar would instantly turn down. Damn! Anyway, that was a real surprise. Not only are you a good source of info, but you're not half bad as an actor either. You're honestly the type of guy I'd want to get grab drinks with after work to add your underage. Whew. Swipes sweat from the brow. Delivers the same effect as rumor filled scoop but to greater effect. Alright. Well I guess that's it for today. Don't stop in any weird shops on your way home, okay? I feel like pretending to be lovers with Oya increased my charm? What? I mean, I'll take it. All right. Hold on. Bye. See you later. No. Who is it? <sighs> you wanna read manga? Oh, what? A DVD? Oh, alright. Sure. Eighteen days. Okay, I know. I'm just living my life as a high school student with no other obligations. No, I do have plans today. Yo. Yeah. 
brought some snacks too. Oh yeah, bring on the private showing. Are we watching porn? I am not okay with this. <laughs> Damn, dude, did you see that through pass? Oh wait, are we watching something else? Other countries got tons of people who can watch this, play this stuff. Wait, what? Other countries got tons of people who could play this good, right? Man, the foreigners are so freaking crazy. You know, I didn't used to be into... Oh, it's soccer. Alright, if he didn't say soccer, I could have sworn he could still... It, it still sound like porn. I didn't used to be too into soccer, but I sat down and watched a match one day and now I'm hooked. How about you? What do you like more? Soccer or baseball? Uh, Soccer? <laughs> For real? Are you familiar with it? Know any good matchups coming up? Or how about some young talent rising in the ranks? I really don't know where to start looking with this shit. There are so many good teams in the world. Oh. Refined my charm. <laughs> that was great. Makes me like feel like going for a run. In this rain. Uh... Oh, what? Alright. That makes you coffee. Make it super freaking good with a ton of sweets. All right, this time no love is going into this. Straight up from the rule book. Oh, what an idea! Is he gonna like it? Cause he doesn't like coffee anyways, right? Oh, this is great. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, this is awesome. Who knew I'd like coffee? And man, here I was thinking I'd hate the whole thing. Nice. Oh, nice! I never knew there'd be a day I'd want to drink coffee. Life's really full of surprises, huh? See ya! Ooh, it's freaking late, dude. Well, see you tomorrow. See ya. No! Harajuku? As the admin of the fan site, I want to find out what society is thinking. There should be a lot of people there since it's summer vacation. It'd be a perfect s for a survey. You should come with me tomorrow. Yes. Yes. I don't even know where that is. Oh, okay. The fashion capital, also known for starting many trends in food. Takenoko street fashion, young people with unique fashion often gather here alongside tourists. All right. Sure. This is not good. I've been spending the last three days just hanging out. Hi. It's so crowded, just as expected. This is the perfect place to start an investigation. Why are we here? With this many people, there's to be gossip around, maybe even rumors about the Phantom Thieves. I'm curious to know what other people think of them. We might even find a bad guy or two. Well, just you wait. This is going to help be helpful, Tomo. I can promise you that. Yo! Who? Ryuji? What are you doing here? Fancy running into you two here. Oh, Sakamoto. Whoa, Mashima, why are you here? No, no. Took you long enough to notice me. <laughs> notice me, senpai! What are you doing out here, Sakamoto? Could you be on a date? Hell no! I'm looking for a workout clothes. Heard they got a pretty sweet selection here. But some of them are dirty and have a some funky smell. Probably used. Wait. Well, you guys free? Wanna grab a bite? We haven't found anything yet. What do you think? Uh, yeah, let's go eat. Yeah. What? Okay, we can't do much on the empty stomach anyway. What do you guys want to eat? Can we get crepes? Are you a chick? Oh crap! I forgot all about our investigation. Thanks. I guess I should go home for the day. Thanks for today. 
What? Crabs are not just for girls. I like crabs. Crabs are fucking fantastic, man. Man, it's hot. Yeah, I'm full of guts. Oh. Sure. Hi. <laughs> I guess she's Kawakami. Oh wait, it's you. It'll be 5,000 yen with the request be included. You know, is that okay with you? I have a lot of money. Uh, okay. I'll head over right away then. Is Soljiro gonna say anything about it? I really hope not. So, this is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? What? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? <laughs> uh, I was really lonely. I see. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you have a criminal <laughs> record. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. What? It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? What? Seriously? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. Oh, hell yeah, lady. Dude, I'll get the best fucking grades ever. And in exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sure. Sound good? Hell yeah. I promise. Then it's a deal. I made a deal with Kawakami, my homeroom teacher? Wait, how does this pertain to the... Wait, what? Use. so you skip school for a few days, eh? How's this... What? To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. Oh, she is gonna say it. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? Oh god. Do I have to tell her about her? Ah, it's with the birth of the temperance persona. Oh. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. She's temperance. Alright. Slack off allows you to perform various activities in Kawakami's... Wait, what? All right. Like what? Slack off. Uh, what am I doing here with one of my students? Well, I guess I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? What? Why? Well, I mean, we know each other's secret. And it would really put my mind at ease. Oh. Besides, I'm, uh... Uh, what? I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so... I don't get requested that often. Oh, what? But you're great! I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. That's... Not something a teacher should ever say. <laughs> but alright, I'll take it. Just think about it, okay? Thank you for using our service! She's like the worst example for a good- No! Oh! Who could it be? Use K. You called three days ago. It's called Mes Miserable. Mis Miserable. A remake of a classic. Apparently it came out this summer. I just want one day off from the Futaba business. Care to join me? We've been three days off, mister. But I will go. Uh, swear to God, if one week passes and, nothing, and I just 
two high school shit. It's gonna be really bad news for us. Sorry. My apologies, I got on my train one station early to save money, but it must have made me late. Dude, you're really skinny. Didn't realize. It was him! He stole the silverware! He even stole the candlesticks! Thief! Confess your crime! Oh! Is there no God in this world? Okay. That Bishop guy is too much. He should cut the other guy some slack. I feel like I was able to learn how to be more compassionate to others. Alright. Oh, my kindness is slow. Alright. Well then. <laughs> the amount of artistry and effort they put into the stage set is truly astounding. Oh, forgive me. I can't help but more focus, focus more on the visual aspect than on that storyline. I don't mind. Indeed. Thanks. Well, I already understand that you're not the type to feel offended by such matters. I'm in your debt. Thank you for today. The time we spent together felt worthwhile. Well then, let's head home. Another corporate scandal. Haven't been there a lot those lately. What is Medja doing? It's hard to tell when they aren't making any moves. The Phantom Thieves have kept their silence too. Is our country gonna be done for when the deadline comes? Ah, you're back. Great. Is it just me or have been a lot of info leaks lately? It's not Medjet, right? I think they'd make it a more theatrical occasion. You're right, they didn't make any declarations or anything. Still, it's quite a headache. The hate we're getting online is insane too. People are treating us like this is our fault. They may denounce us if we don't hurry and take care of this. Has anyone come up with a plan for solving the problem? I need some more time. I want to try harder too. We have to do whatever we can. Either way, simply relying on Futaba will not do. Well, if we run out of options, that may be our only options. Oh my god, what? What? Oh god, uh... Did you hear those cries of joy? I'm talking about the sudden burst of posts we just got on our fan site. It must be because of how popular the Phantom Thieves are. Thanks to you. Me? I wouldn't mind hearing that a little more often. Uh, anyway, let me tell you about the most interesting thing I found so far. Indiscriminate acts of violence in Shibuya. Pretty scary, huh? I can't find much more than that though. All of the posts mentioned rumors they heard in the underground mall in Shibuya, nothing else. It's not super reliable, but it'd be good if we could find out more about those rumors. But my presence is limited to the web. You might want to try and learn more on your own if you're interested. Hmm. Infiltrate the underground mall as a store employee if you want more info. Who's been assaulting people? Well, that one's easy because I already have a job as a flower person. Yup, flower person. Hello, master. It's Becky, your provider of comfort. I need to ask, can you request me? What? Uh, sure. You're a huge money sink though. What, really? You'll request me? Okay, I'll be sure to make your room absolutely spotless today. Be there soon. Can I get a back massage? Um. I love cleaning shabby, I mean sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, that, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? You are trying too hard. <laughs> it does! Aw, <laughs> oh, master, even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. 
I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This'll do, right? Keeping it a little messy for your, that shabby chic feeling, you know? And now cleaning is complete. Oh! <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today, I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I fit a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you would actually would. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? What kind of weird things? Huh? Gosh, I'm just a maid, so I don't really know. Anyway, let's stay under control and maintain our distance for the sake of our relationship. <laughs> oh my god. I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh hey, do you know any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. Uh, what? What do you- Why do you need money? What's it for? Well, uh... You know... What? You have a sister? It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Really? Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount last week. I... No, I... Yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh... Oh, wrong number. Hey, sorry to ask you out of the blue, but... What the fuck? Do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? N no, never mind. Owing one of my students money would be the worst. Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting on services like this. Yeah, I requested you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to be f involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. 100,000? I mean, I've pretty close to that amount. All right. But why she need 100,000 for <sighs> three more to go? What? Well, I'll see you later, master. Okay. <laughs> Kawakami left. Do I need another 100,000? Oh my god, I just remembered about that fortune teller. That bitch! Gave me salt! It's not cool. I want... I want answers. Damn it. Now we're going. We are going in. You are. 